What's up, family? This your boy, Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to share this video. I got some news for you niggas today. Dallas rapper Mo3 was murdered on a freeway back in November 2020, and ever since then, everybody's been speculating about his murder. Why was he killed? Was he being followed? Was he set up? Why did he get out the car and run? Well, I have all the answers to that question because I have the official video of the Mo3 shooting, and I'm gonna play it for you guys. Not only am I gonna play it for you guys, but we're gonna break this video the hell down. Let's go. All right, guys, Mo3 is in a gold Honda. His killer is in a black Camaro. The black Camaro is in front of Mo3, constantly trying to cut Mo3 off. The black Camaro is gonna swerve left. Mo3 is gonna swerve right, and that's when Mo3 is gonna park his car and get out. Let's watch. Pay close attention. So Mo3 stopped this car. The black Camaro not only stopped, but it stopped at an angle, trying to block Mo3 in. So Mo3 hops out his car, goes to the passenger side. He's looking for something, a weapon or something. He couldn't find it. He ducks and runs off. The guy is chasing Mo3. And you're going to see him gun Mo3 down, and you're going to see him run back up to the black Camaro. So he's chasing Mo3 right now. Let's watch him run. I'm not going to pause it. We're going to pause it on this go around. Now watch him run back. There he go. He's running back to the black Camaro. Let's play it again. Now we're going to pause it. All right, guys. So at this point, Mo3 is basically running for his life. He know that the Camaro has him cornered. But as I'm watching this video, I'm paying close attention to the traffic. Because I was under the impression that it was a heavy traffic. And that's why he got out the car and ran. But I'm looking at the video... Traffic is not heavy at all, so I question why did he get out the car and run? Let's pause it. Look, traffic is not bad. He didn't have to stop the car, and a lot of people saying the Camaro shot out his tires. I don't think so. I'm not buying that because if both three tires were shot out, why did he get out the car and just nonchalantly walk to the other side of the car? He was he didn't seem like he was in a rush. He didn't seem scared. He parked the car and walked confidently to the other side like he knew his weapon was there. So I'm kind of confused at this point, but follow me. Y'all follow me on this. Let's go. The Camaro has him blocked in. All right, now Mo3 is bent over, head in the passenger side of the car, and he's searching for something. I want to know what it is. I think it's a weapon, but let's continue watching. The guy in the Camaro hasn't gotten out the Camaro yet. Because Mo3 Mo is searching for something. Mo3 couldn't find it. The guy's approaching Mo3, running to him. And that's a fast motherfucker, ain't he? All right. So Mo3 runs off. Now, a lot of people saying they think Mo3 was set up because Mo3 was searching for a weapon. He couldn't find it, so he ran. But I think Mo3 was searching for a weapon and the guy was just too close on his heels. I think the guy in the Camaro was shooting at Mo3 from a distance. And it's hard to stay focused when you getting shot at. When you hear them gunshots, you, you hear them bullets hitting that car, you trying to get your gun, trying to put your clip in maybe, Mo3 didn't have enough time, so he's like, I'm better off just hauling ass. And that's what he did. He ran, and the moment Mo3 ran, the moment the guy knew that Mo3 was unarmed, he was on Mo3 heels. He hawked them down. Four foot two. 40 dash, that's a fast guy. He hawked him down. Soon he knew Mo3 was unarmed, he was on hot pursuit. Let's go. So they're off camera. Mo3 is getting gunned down right now. The guy putting in work. And that's why I think it was a bag dra dropped on Mo3's head. This guy's in the middle of the traffic, running, chasing Mo3. You can't tell me there's not money involved. This guy's in traffic. Dallas traffic chasing Mo3 and then running back. So yeah, I think Mo3 underestimated the guy that was in the Camaro. I think it was a paid hit. I think Mo3 was set up. And I think Mo3 hopped out the car to retrieve his weapon. Mo3 kept getting cut off by the Camaro. So Mo3 like, wait a minute, let me stop this car. Who the hell this nigga think he is? Mo3 hopped out, was looking at the Camaro, trying to get his weapon. I don't think his weapon was just sitting in the glove department. I think he had it hidden in some type of glove box where you needed to be on the passenger side to get to it. Because if it's just in the glove department, you can just do that from inside the car. That's what I'm saying. 
All right, guys, those are my thoughts on the new footage of the Mo3 shooting, but I want to hear what you guys think. So get in the comment section and let me know. Do you think Mo3 was set up? Why do you think Mo3 hopped out the car? What was he looking for? Do you think he underestimated the guy in the Camaro? I want to know all that. So let me know. Share this video. Hit that like and subscribe button. I love you guys. Peace.